Hey everybody, it's Ben, and I'm back with another episode of the Computer Craft Challenge here. Um, since the last time, uh, last episode is when I got uh, Sherman here, the smelter. He's completely set up to go, um, and he, he's doing great now. Uh, but since that last time, I have been, I've been on doing a little bit of mostly just watching Sidekick Mine, because I am getting a little bit sick of not finding any diamond, and... I, I don't see how it could be, but I, I I can't shake, you know, the the idea in my head that, oh, what if there's some kind of a bug that's preventing him from mining diamond? But I can't think of what that could possibly be when he mines everything else just fine. So, but I mean, you can see, I, I cleared all the snow off, just, just punched it real quick. Um, you can see the area that, that has been covered here. Um, and I, I would say that's, that's fairly significant. It's, um... Oh, it's 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 approaching a full chunk, I would say. Um, I I can't I don't know that it is because I haven't been like strictly keeping that, but it's like one two three four five six seven eight. Okay, nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen. Okay, so right here is a chunk in this direction. So 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 yeah, I've I've covered more definitely more than half a chunk, uh, about three quarters of a chunk probably worth of uh, space and no diamonds. So I guess uh, first thing, make sure Sidekick is going. Oh, actually, and as you might notice here, looking at the my interface, that um, I've been doing a little bit of work on the the mine program as well. Um, just small stuff, nothing that changes the functionality of it, really, but just things to make it a, a little bit more uh, more usable, more more user friendly. Ooh, there's a skeleton with an enchanted bow over there. Alright, let me go see, check he's messaging the console correctly. Commencing mining. Okay, yeah, see, I added a couple more notifications. Um, I altered the program to, um, to, to automatically check whether the turtle that is running it is wireless, so you can use a mining turtle that's not wireless, and it won't... It will it will check if it's able to open a, a red net modem. So it, if it's not able to open the modem, it won't just you know error out. It'll just not use. It'll just not message across red net. So that's a little more user friendly. And um, I also posted on my blog. Um, I put the code on there, but that code is already outdated. But I also have there a link to where I put the code up on. Uh, it's a pretty new website. Uh, it's turtlescripts.com, which um, it's kind of it's it's very computer craft specific. It is meant to be like like a repository for all of the scripts people write for computer craft. Um, it's it looks pretty cool. It's you know nice layout and everything. So um, I, I I recommend it personally, and they've already got um, programs available there that you can install to allow you to pull programs directly from there to a turtle similar to how like the uh, paste bin method works so i think that could definitely be a really good uh site for the computer craft community to start using and while i'm talking i should be getting stuff ready because i have plans for today uh, is sherman going it seems like he should be Hmm. And while I was doing some watching of, of Sidekick, um, I, I had a couple of close calls, so I'm a little extra paranoid about creepers now. And on a third note, um, by the time I post this video, I probably will be fine, but um, I, I've mentioned it in others. I, I have a new monitor coming because um, I record on my laptop here, and my laptop screen is dying so forgive my uh my halting progress here anyway so okay sherman needs a reboot there we go all right cool and he pulled the stuff in smelting uh he's doing yep he's doing the iron first that's cool i need to get some more pork chops for him um but down here i have enough i could make 
one of them fancy pants advanced computers. Uh, I could make turtles too, but I have stone here because my goal um, is to start working on this GPS array that I need to put um, up about as high as I can. I figure I can get. And to do that, I'm going to have to do... Whoa. Leg. Um, I'm going to have to do it all via turtle. Um, I suppose I could just have a turtle build me a staircase or ladders or something up to the sky, but... I think, think, I can do this from the ground, more or less. Um, all right, let's let's make some computers. Mm -hmm. Let's see how am I gonna get here? Three. Oh, I think I got just enough. Yep. Four. Perfect. Four computers. All right, so I'm first going to build the GPS array here on the ground uh, because I need to test it, make sure it works. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Uh, where's that smooth stone, Sherman? I got plenty of iron. Okay, apparently he's got a bug. And that is unfortunate. So, slight change of plans, uh, just because I need modems for all of these computers. But let's let's lay it down, and then we'll take a look at Sherman. So, the GPS array you just run it. They already come pre-installed with a GPS program on the computers. So, think 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 uh, Dan for that. <laughs> that um. The, both the API and the program is all there. I don't have to do anything other than just set up the configuration. So you need four computers for GPS array. You need three. Um, and they probably don't even have to be separated. It's one, two, three, four, five. That's... Just do one more there. Okay, so that's five in between. That's okay. One, two, three, four... Five, one there. Okay, and then the last one. Uh, so three on a single plane here, you can see, and they, you know, you want to have them a, a triangle so that it can figure out the X and Z coordinates. But, like, if you, if you have a turtle directly below these three computers, it's, it's going to be able to get, you know, kind of an okay reading on, on height, but, like, and and its coordinates and everything, but like as you moved off to the side, you need the, another one off plane from these. Oops, well, that one's booted up. All right, so should have done this near the wall. That would have made this easier. Okay. Um, okay. I, I'm. Was that sidekick? Yeah, sidekick's on the way back. And this is going to be the time. This is the time with the diamonds, right, sidekick? Uh, no. <laughs> A whole bunch of iron. Wow. That's, um, I'm going to make sure he's got coal, lots of cobble, a bit more redstone. Quite a lot of iron. I'm impressed. Oops. Yeah, go ahead. Do, do it again. Do it again. Off he goes. I'm just going to keep him going as much as I can. Um, so, I, 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 I need to get this other computer up in the air. <laughs> I will, I'll just, I'll just do what I was going to do. Like that. That's fine, that's fine. I'm not... There. There, that's all I had to do. It's just so I could reach... Don't give me a hard time over it. <laughs> um, so anyway, then what I have to do is um, take a look at my coordinates here. So I'm at 
because you have to su you have to supply when you start up the computer you have to supply it with the coordinates that it's going to give okay but before i can oops before i can run the, the gps i need modems for these so i need smooth stone so sherman needs to work all right so Okay, so you know what? Oh, I know what it is. I uh, when I added this idea of a new pickup. Um, okay, so Okay, so, okay, that's, I see, I see, this, I need to combine this. I think what I'll do... Um, is, okay, so, if new pickup or has smeltable, that's what I should have done. Um, yeah. War has smeltable. And I need to take that off down here. And then I took um Oh, darn it. No, I can't. Undo. Where's my undo? <laughs> I don't think I have an undo. No, I do not have an undo. Darn it. All right, where did I... Where did I just delete that from? Okay, so that's where I added it. It has smeltable. All the way down here, and then back... Okay, here we go. If has smeltable Ben. Okay. Got that back. So I, I added a couple of things also to Sherman here. Um, one, because I realized that um, I had to have him, you know, he was, I think I that was caught on the, the one of the previous episodes. He was, like, running around this furnace. And he kept throwing coal into it, though, even though there was nothing to smelt. And that's just a big waste of fuel for him to be moving all over the place. And he would eventually shove all of his coal into the furnace and never realize it. So that was a problem. So I changed that. Um, so then he was just trying to pull things from the chest. And then he'd move down and do a fuel check, meaning he would see if you know, he had any extra fuel in his inventory, throw it in here, and then make sure that he had a, uh, he's had a full stack of fuel in this last slot. Now, that was still wasting fuel, because most of the time, I'm not constantly throwing stuff in here for him to smelt. So, even though he's just moving down and back up, that's still, you know, two fuel units that he doesn't need to use. So, I was modifying that. So, now, let's go ahead and reboot ya. And, yep, there we go, because he's already got the smooth stone in the inventory. Yep, sm the, or the cobble to make into smooth stone. Alright, great. Great, now we will have some smooth stone on its way, but I need a lot. So I'm just gonna have him smelt that like crazy. Uh, so until then, I, yeah, I use up all the smooth stone I had, I think. One possible future enhancement I could make to uh, Sherman's program here is set him up to use like multiple furnaces in some way um probably have them like go back like have another one right behind this furnace and then he could you know move back and then repeat this program you know fill it up and then i could just have him go back however many furnaces there are and so on but you know whatever uh not for today mm-hmm <laughs> Sidekick should be back soon. I'm gonna go check, check his messaging. Uh, refueled. Oh yeah, he's nearly back. 
Working well, working well. Just waiting for those diamonds so he can have a friend. Um, and mainly so that I can build another mining turtle and go clear some trees here. I, you know, I started building walls with my, my builder buddy I still have here. And I kind of felt like, you know, I wanted to have walls that were a little bit bigger because I wanted to have some space to, to mine out. Here he comes. Should have some smooth stone actually by now, yeah. Enough for, yeah, enough for one modem. <laughs> it's a start. And I obviously need a crafting bench up here, so let's just do that. So much junk. Junk, 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 junk. Okay, don't need that or that or that. Psychic's back! Psychic! Hey, how's it go? Oh. Oops. <laughs> Thank you! So... Off you go. Crafting table. Um, one thing I also forgot, but you know what? I want him to keep working on this smooth stone, so I'm not going to load up other stuff yet. That's two modems. All right, so we're getting there. Just have to put my redstone back. Of course I did. So we need modems for the GPS. And that is what is the holdup. Um, oh, duh. What am I doing? Shoot. It's not just redstone. It's a torch. There we go. All right. Let's go plunk some modems on. I'll just do that side, sure. There we go, those two, okay.